Everybody, it's uh, Chris over at Dixieland Farm, and I just got done doing a little soldering with some RCAs. Chris, is this another mono switch? It is another mono switch. All right, so you saw in my past videos how I made a mono switch using a light switch or just a, a single pole, single throw switch or whatever. This is an even simpler version if you've got this kind of amplifier. So I picked up an amp for um, a friend, and... Um, I saw it and I said, oh, you, you want this amp? Yes. So he said, pick it up for me. So I did and I'm going to hook it up and I'll have a video on that maybe in the future. But it's got no mono switch, right? But it does have um, a tape loop. So what you do is you hook up left and right together, right? And then just, so one to the other and then one of them tied together, okay? So, what that does is, when he wants to hear mono, all he has to do is hit the tape monitor button here, tape two, lets you listen to what goes through that loop, effectively making it a mono switch. So, when it's off, it's stereo, when you hit the button, now it's mono. And that's it, and then he doesn't have to have an external switch and cables and everything. Everything's nicely tied up back there. So, it cost $4 to make that, and that should cut down the, the groove noise a bit when he listens to mono. And kind of an elegant solution and cheap. So nothing to it. So that's my tip. And like I said, there, there's solderless connections. You don't have to solder it if you don't know how to at Radio Shack. They've got uh, things with screws. You can just take a little bit of wire and screw it together and, and, and make that in a jiff. All right. So there you go. Take care, everybody.